Hello everyone, it's the Windows Zero here, and today I'm going to take a look at the Windows One H227, which is a transformation pack for Windows 10. It turns Windows 10 into Windows 7. The screenshots are looking very promising, so let's uh, jump into the test. I already downloaded the transformation pack, so let me move on to a test laptop. I quickly spin it up a test environment on my Intel Celeron N3060 laptop. Very low end thing, but it will survive during the test. I have the installer and the folder with extras, which we will test later. I just got a warning saying that the program called the check for Windows updates. That's normal since I just fully updated this laptop for this test. You can't update with the theme applied since it will just break Windows. But it's just a test so I will continue. I prefer the Windows 7 branding so I will choose that. I also prefer the Windows 7 ribbon. I will use Start is Back to provide the Start menu since I'm not going to have to pay it. I'm only going to use this Windows install today. I prefer the first Explorer since that's the most accurate one. I don't want to keep any window colors. I will select everything here. I can't install the Windows 7 calculator since I'm using LTSC. It already has the Windows 7 calculator. With everything selected, let's start transforming. I will speed this up by 10 times, so don't worry about being bored.
As you can see, the login screen is the login screen from Windows 7. The getting started applet isn't the one from Windows 7, but it looks very similar to the Windows 7 one. Explorer looks very similar to the Windows 7 one. That's awesome! Almost all of the classic flyouts are restored. That's great. The classic task manager is also there. That looks familiar, right? The classic games are also there. What about the teams? Well, as you can see, the teams are included. I'm not going to lie that the dark team is really cool.
I'll stick with the dark team today. I installed a few browsers to see how they look like with the team system. Well, Supermium still renders the Windows 10 title bar, but we can easily disable that. Go to the Flex page. Then search for title bar and enable the force disabling of the Windows 10 custom title bar. Then restart Supermium and you have the arrow title bar. On Chrome you have to stick with the default Windows 10 title bar. There's no way to disable this. Firefox it's the same case, but in Firefox 115 ESR, you can modify it to show the Windows 7 arrow title bar, but I don't recommend using Firefox 115 ESR since it's a bit out of date. Just use Supermium or stick with the Windows 10 title bar in the newest Firefox. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is what the extra teams looks like. And that's pretty much it for today. It's a really nice transformation pack. Thank you for watching and Happy New Year!